What does it do to you? I mean, the fame sounds so wonderful to have. And there are many gifts that you receive from it. I, I think that we're just existing at a certain time where, you know, the question of what's privacy and what isn't has become almost non-existent. There is no line anymore. It's just a fair game. And, you know, you, you learn little bits at a time over your experiences. And the one thing I do know is that you can't deny that it hurts and that you feel the, the pain of the cruelty and, uh, and the, the sense of uh, invasion. And as soon as you can admit to it, 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 it leaves you. And you really kind of go back into the proper perspective, which is I, I, I do know what my intentions are, the kind of person I am, and that's most important. Where does your confidence come from? You're so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> you have no fear. You let them pour water on you. You beat them up. I mean, come on. Where does this come from? Do you know, did you, were you always like this? I guess so. I, I mean, I don't know that I was ever any different. Um, but it's certainly not because I don't have fear. It's just what I do with it that would make the difference. Um, you know, f you can operate of, out, out of two forms. Because in my mind, it always in the end, you can break it down to two things, fear or love. And for me to operate out of fear would be like being um, in a cage. Uh, and to operate out of love doesn't always make you feel secure, but it certainly holds much greater rewards.